Hi, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2012 Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid. There's a lot of reasons you want to buy this, and I'm going to go down the list. Um, it's a very clean car. It was owned by Toyota headquarters, meaning they did not sell this car to the public. They instead registered to Toyota USA headquarters, and Toyota personnel have been driving it around. It's extremely clean, it's the pearly white, and it's a plug-in hybrid. I'm going to explain that first, then we're going to go inside, we're going to look at the inside systems. So, plug-in hybrid. It has a charging cord. You plug it in, you, you want to plug it in, but you don't have to plug it in. You never have to plug it in. If you live in an apartment, you don't have to plug it in. You do have to put it in, in gas. So the gas goes in on the left side. This is your gas filler. You just hit the little button, you go to the gas station, push the little button, take the gas cap off at the gas station, and put gas in like a normal car. And you can drive it from day one until the last day you own it. No problem. But it also has this charging port. Now this is something you don't have to use, but you definitely want to use it. And as I go around in circles around this car, I'm going to explain that real quickly. Plug-in hybrid. If you never put gas in it, you just get in, you drive it like a normal car, and it's going to get you 50 miles per gallon. That's 5.0. 50 miles per gallon, more or less, if you never plug it in. However, by plugging it in, that'll bump your gas mileage closer to like 70 to 100 miles per gallon over your average of what you drive normally. A lot of my customers report back that they're getting about 72 to 75 miles per gallon average in California by plugging it in. So with a high $4 gallon gas price that we have right now, you definitely want to plug it in if you can. But if you can't, that's okay. There's other reasons to buy this car. And one of those reasons is that it qualifies for the Replace Your Ride program. Now you, as you're watching this video, may not qualify for the program, but a lot of people do and I'm getting calls for it every day. So what does that mean? So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna take a look. And as we go inside, first, let's look at the interior. Nice and clean, it does have tinted windows, so it stays even cooler. White color, tinted windows, stays nice and cool. All the seats are nice and clean. Yes, it has 130,000 miles, but it doesn't show wear and tear on the seats because Toyota people are car nuts and they take care of their cars. So the last digits of the VIN number are 265. So let's go sit down. So I'm going to explain about the Replace Your Ride program. This car has navigation. We have the navigation that shows live traffic information if you connect your phone and it'll uh, access the traffic information through Toyota's Entune app on your phone. And then it'll display live traffic, red, yellow, or green, uh, and it'll reroute you around traffic jams and things like that. It has a tilt, telescopic steering wheel. It's got nice sun visors with courtesy mirrors, uh, vanity uh, mirrors, sunglasses holder. You can enable or disable the interior lights. Both visors and the headliner are all nice and clean. I've got two keys for this car. And the keys have a remote start air conditioning system. Remote start air conditioning means you turn the car off instead of lock. You push AC and it locks the car and turns on your air conditioning. So when you run an errand in the bank or Starbucks or whatever, it keeps the AC going while you're inside. The various books and manuals. And this has the Toyota maintenance records in the Toyota warranty and maintenance guide. Now, speaking of warranty, this car is still under Toyota warranty up to 15 years or 150,000 miles, which is on, I'm trying to get to it one handed here. On these blue bar graphs, California emission control warranty is up to 10 years or 150,000 miles on the hybrid battery and 15 years or 150,000 miles on the hybrid emission uh, related components any emission performance or defect 
on selected components. So the warranty records are all in here in this book as well. Toyota owned it as a factory headquarters vehicle and they documented all the maintenance and this book comes with a car. Genuine Toyota service. So we're going to talk, I'm trying to keep the video short, we're going to talk about the Replace Your Ride program. So let's get the calculator out. So the government will buy your trade-in if you have it, regardless if it's worthless old beater. Under the Replace Your Ride program, they'll give you up to $9,500 for it. So let's do some math. Let's say this car is eleven eight hundred, and whenever you buy a used car, your the government makes more money than the dealers do. So the government's going to charge you tax. Some cities in LA, they've approved. The voters have voted yes on ten point two five percent sales tax. They like paying tax in LA. I don't know why, but they do. Uh, but let's do the math. Your average Californian will pay about 10% tax, license, and registration. Not if you live in LA, it's a lot more, but the rest of California. So 11800 sales price. Let's add tax plus 1180. Let's say it was 12980 out the door. And then you qualify under the Replace Your Ride program where the government is going to give you 9500 to buy down this car minus nine five oh, oh, oh equals your total out the door cost is in the ballpark of thirty five hundred dollars that means you trade in your car and you drive away for thirty five hundred dollars tax license and registration now the replace your ride program is only for people who live in san Bernardino county riverside county orange county or san Bernardino county four counties in california and you have to go on the government website, replaceyourride.com, and see if you qualify for that program. Everybody else, you just need the money. And you might be able to finance the car, but a lot of the Replace Your Ride program people have been looking for cheap cars, uh, good cars for less money, and this is an ideal candidate because you don't have to plug it in. So, we're going to take one more look at the body go right down the side it's very clean tires are nice and thick on it Toyota puts the good tires on it they don't put the cheap tires they put the nice tires on it the stock spec tires and there's a lot of tread very clean another reason to buy this car it has the car pull stickers these little green stickers these little access okay stickers this car has the access okay stickers which means you can drive this car in the carpool lanes or the toll roads and bridges and the places where you see diamond lane this has access okay <coughs> with only one person in the car because it's got special permitting now the green stickers will be replaced for new stickers coming out that you have to uh, reapply for that'll be valid until 2022 at this time they constantly extend the hov sticker program so you can keep on driving in the carpool lane till uh, uh, what's being reported by the official websites until 2022 under the new sticker program coming out so i'm going to keep this video short my name is mike johnson give me a call 951-681-2101 one thing before i do i'm going to pop the hood Another thing I want to point out, this car was owned in California. So that means it hasn't been in the snow. So when we look under the hood, it looks like brand new under the hood. 130,000 miles on the car, but stop for a second. Let me prop my hood. Now think about this for a second. This is a plug-in hybrid. A regular gasoline car, when you're sitting in traffic, it's really warm but this car is cool to the touch it's been running for an hour but it's cool to the touch because it's a plug-in hybrid the engine has not come on so it has not gotten hot so if you do the math a regular car when it drives hundred thousand miles the engine has hundred thousand miles on it a hybrid car that does not plug in 
after 100,000 miles, 40% of the time the engine is off. A plug-in hybrid car like this one, 60% of the time that you're driving the car, the engine is off. So over 100,000 miles, the engine probably only has 40,000 miles on it uh, of use because it doesn't run when you're idling. There is no idling. It doesn't run when you're sitting in traffic it moves forward on the electric motor only so the engine doesn't get that kind of use so that's one of the reasons these cars can go 300,000 plus miles and still look like brand new so my name is Mike Johnson give me a call 951-681-2101 thank you